Good morning, county commissioners and people. Today I'm going to ask a recent request for parcel number 46826.000. This request is to change what is manufacturing to commercial intensive in the greater Palm River area of Florida. So as we may see here in the photo, um, here's the land I'm trying to request to a hospital. Um, the overview of the property, we're going to have the address, it's going to be located at 3521 Yocom Dra Diamond Drive, Tampa, Florida, 33619. The acreage is going to be 6.29. The Sony designation is going to be manufacturing, the nearby zoning with each land use. The north side, we're going to have manufacturing, that's open storage. And the south side, we're going to have manufacturing, that's a state land. For the west and east part, it's just going to be manufacturing. It, it's in um, vacant land, so it's just great, um, grease land, and that's all. So as we may see over here, this is the land we're trying to change from manufacturing to commercial intensive. Over here, we're going to have what's a creek. Um, the surrounding um, zoning and uses, we're going to have over here what's an open storage, as you may see in the picture. Now we're going to have on the south side what's the Dane Creek. As I mentioned um, before, the west and east side is just going to be manufacturing. So that's just um, open space green land. Overview, overview of the property. So the front size is going to be 30.3 feet. The size and rear is going to be 10 and 11. Buffers shall be increased over the required buffer area of one foot for every 10 feet of building length over 100 feet, which is adjacent to those buffers. The parking regulation is going to be two per bed. So on the north, south, west, and east, we're not going to have any landscape requirements. For the future rezone property, it's going to be um, the front side 30 feet, the side and rear, it's going to be the same as I mentioned before, 10 out of 11. The parking regulation is going to be 5.0 per 1,000 square feet of GFFA. The landscape requirement for north, south, west, and east is, go is just going to be what's 15 feet standard B. So for, so for the current parcel condition, um, the parcel is located in the greater Palm River area, located within the urban service area, water and wastewater are provided by Hillsborough County. It's not a competitive site located in a redevelopment area. The future land use has no residential allowed except for limited accessories and, and accessory residential. Also, um, it's an industrial development that involves the processing of non-hazardous and non-toxic materials and create a minimal degree of impact on the surrounding environment. Then we're going to have what's transportation considerations. The parcel is on the northwest corner of Sagasta Street and Tableway Avenue. There will be a new hospital construction and increase in traffic due to the new buildings, clients, staff, patient, providers, visitors, and medical workers. Also, a large parking lot will be built. The side northeast corner is on Highway US 41 in Pearls, Interstate truck line from Miami to Michigan. This highway has a high level of traffic, which will represent an increase in traffic on this road. There's already a stop sign at each corner of the side. There could be a new traffic light on the South 47th Street and Bull Street, which will sh slow down some of the traffic. The expected traffic will be around 12 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. On the week weakness, the traffic would slow down. The total traffic count volume will be around 1,800. So as we may see here, that's the map of the traffic count. The environmental concern, there is no wetland on the side, only outside wetlands nearby the side that do not affect the parcel at all. Screen under A, a row of evergreen shade trees that are not less than 10 feet high at the time of planting, a minimum of two inch caliper, caliper 
and our space not more than 20 feet apart to the south and east side of the parcel. To the south of the side, there has to be trees implemented because of possible contamination of the creek, like pollution, water quality, bank erosion, drainage system, stormwater, and road runoff community appearance. The building of any infrastructure might have a negative impact to Delaney Creek. No environmental condition, the creek is a natural waterway. No buffers are necessary towards the north, southeast, southwest, west of the, of the parcel because there's there are non residential districts. So, as we may see over here, this is a parcel we're analyzing. And, like the wetlands surrounding this um, parcel, it's going to be outside. So, that's why it's not going to have you know, a major impact. Then, we're going to have what is hazard mitigation and concerns. So, the flood zone will be AE, representing the base foot plane where base flood elevations are provided. AE zones are now used on a new form and firms instead of A1 A and A30 zones. As noted before, the flood zones covers the north, south, west, east, and the southwest, southeast, northwest, northeast. Because detailed analyzes are not performed for such errors, no dent or base flood elevations are shown within the zones. The storm surge and high coastal hazards are within the parcels. Um, the evacuation zone is within the parcel. The hurricane evacuation assessment tool assists Hillsborough County residents in determining if they're one of the five evacuation zones. Okay, so as we may see over here in the parcel, um, the float zone for this section is going to be AE. Also, we have here what I mentioned previously. Um, this is the equation zone, means that when you have a natural disaster coming, this is the rule you have to take to safeguard your life. Um, we're going to have the coastal hazard area, it's going to be over here. Then we're going to have what is the storm surge scene that's within the parcel. Okay, so we're going to have the compatibility to comprehensive plan future land use. So the surrounding areas are homogeneous land soil as they all have the same zoning category as manufacturing except for the northeast, like I mentioned before, that's going to be CI, commercial intensive. There's a mix of one residential district with the other ones that are non-residential district within the area. So this district shall be located where it does not impact the facility and service of the county. We propose building a hospital to serve the community healthcare system. Our proposed rezoning will be difficult to transition since the current zoning um, category of the site is manufacturing and it is located in an area that will impact the facility and service of the site because of the Zilini Creek. The rezoning is encouraged by the goal 5A, which stands for planning and growth to promote and provide opportunity for compatible design, public use, residential and business growth and jobs. Goal 5B, economic development provides opportunities for business growth and employment in the Palm River area. Goal 6, the community recognizes its need for an appropriate community service center, public and private schools. Um, sorry, private and private schools, technical and college education opportunities and hospitals, libraries, daycare and aging service services as growth occurs. So for the final recommendation, we're going to have the, what's the pros and the cons. So for the proposed parcel is compatible with the surrounding side to the northeast of the side because it's commercial intensive. So we're trying to change manufacturing to commercial intensive and because of this, it might, you know, be beneficial, but um, we later gonna see why it's not gonna be possible. 
And on pearls, it's gonna be the parcels acreage is big enough for a hospital to be built. It does not have any environmental concerns. There are no wet lines near the side that would affect the construction of the hospital. The storm surge evacuation zone and high coastal hazards are within the parcel. So for the cons, because of Delaney Creek, any infrastructure built next to it might be impacted ne negatively. To the south of the side, there has to be trees implanted because of possible environmental contaminations. The other surrounding source are all manufacturing, which means that it's not going to be able a